What's up everyone? I'm Thanos and today with me is Anastasios Grigoriadis, the lead developer of Monarchs of Camelot and the co-founder of Rhapsody Games. Hello Anastasios. Hello Thanos. How are you? Fine. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Pleasure to have you here. So, tell us a few things about yourself. Hmm. I have been 30 years in our industry. Uh, most of the years I have developed in games, uh, I have developed more than 50 games. I have been uh, six years uh, uh, director of projects at Vesuvius Media. And the past two years we created with my brother Rhapsody Games, uh, whose goal is to create board games that uh, narrate awesome stories. We are based in Athens, Greece. So, what can you tell us about Monarchs of Camelot, your first game that will be published? Monarchs of Camelot is the evolution of Beta Monarchs that the Babis have presented to me three years ago. Uh, the game dealt with personal character development through a very robust uh, progression uh, mechanism. Once I played, I just fell in love with Athanos. It was uh, really amazing. That game inspired us to surpass our limitations and create a game that we are really proud of. Watch of Camelot is a narrative board game that tells the personal development stories of characters that participate in scenarios based on Arthurian myths and legends. These stories, however, do not stand on what we already know. To enable Monarchs of Camelot to be completed, we created a, a writing team of six persons who created the stories in a post-Arthurian era and a campaign of a equivalent of almost 20 stories. Okay. <laughs> Game mechanics and theme push the players to take decisions. That's the core essence of the game. What card should I play? Which NPC should I support? Um, which path should I take? Uh, which opponent should I stall or even support? Uh, at the end of the day, all decisions will affect the results in the game and the story itself. Now that we discuss it, I have to admit that this is the most difficult game I have been involved with so far. <laughs> now that you mention it, which were the biggest challenges you faced during the development of the game? Huh. There were plenty. I mean, we had to balance the personal progression of the characters. Uh, the character development is asymmetrical, so some personal goals or quests might look easier than others or harder. Believe me when I say that they are equally weighted. We had to create a format for the stories. We end up uh, using choose your path uh, and story, uh, where instead of uh, choosing the pages, you use your actions uh, to force the outcome. We also wanted uh, the players uh, to be engaged and uh, interact with other players. So the other only caring about their personal progression, they also focus on what they can do against others. We have the journey book with uh, the perils and actions of the personal goals that you can use against the other players. And <laughs> the most difficult part and the trickiest are the development of the stories themselves. All stories, no matter if they are love stories, uh, jousting, epic battles, uh, uh, have their rules and mechanics that need to support what they narrate. We develop each story one by one. There is a format and maths do help in our case, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but depending on author needs, each story differs on the cards, they might present new mechanics and uh, finally the feeling that uh, gives in the game. So, if you ask me, I stick to what I said. Uh, it's probably the most difficult game so far that I have worked with. <laughs> well, that was it. Thank you very much for 
being here. Thank you very much for the spotlight, uh, Thanos. Take care. I wish you all the best for your game and uh, I hope we talk soon for your upcoming games. Keep bringing stories to people. We all need Thank them. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>